Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you could set up a free trade account with up to 14 dividend payments every month. I will also add in other examples in case you use Trading212 or other platforms. What is a monthly dividend portfolio? A monthly dividend portfolio is a collection of stocks selected to align their payment schedule with the months of the year. These payments are called dividends and are payments by a company to reward shareholders for investing in them. Quarterly payments are the most common schedule, but they can also be paid yearly or even monthly. To achieve your goal of monthly dividend payments using individual dividend stocks, you'll need to align their payment schedules with the 12 months of the year. So to build a monthly paying dividend portfolio, there are generally two options. Invest in dividend stocks that pay out monthly, or invest in three sets of companies that pay out quarterly. On free trade, there are five options for monthly dividend pairs. There is BMO Commercial Property, HY Corporate Bond, UK Gilts, US Corporate Bond, and JPM Government Bond. There will be other monthly dividend payments on other platforms such as Trading212 where there's realty income. For the first month of the quarter, these are the companies that pay out in January, April, July and October. There is GlaxoSmithKline, Cisco, Merck, Kimberly Clark Corporation, Comcast, Asura, FedEx, JPM Morgan Chase and Land Securities. Options for other platforms include Automatic Data Processing, Franklin Resources, Brown Foreman, Cardinal Health, Ecolab, Federal Realty Investment Trust, Leggett and Platt, Medtronic, McCormick and Company Incorporated, Roper Technologies, and Cisco Corp. For the second month of the quarter, these are the companies that pay out in February, May, August, and November. There is City of London, Verizon, Procter & Gamble, Avvi, AT&T, Colgate-Palmolive, Caterpillar, Apple, Greencoat UK, Sequoia, Bluefield Solar and Foresight Solar. Options for other platforms include Abbott, Air Products and Chemicals, A.O. Smith, Clorox, General Dynamics, Hormel Foods Corp, Lowe's Companies, Nucor Corp and Pentair. For the third month of the quarter, these are the companies that pay out in March, June, September and December. And these include Shell, BP, Chevron, Johnson & Johnson, McDonald's, 3M Company, ExxonMobil, Walgreens, Imperial Brands, Intel, Renewables Infrastructure, Next Energy, and HICL Infrastructure. Options for other platforms include Aflac, Dover, Consolidated Edison, Emerson Electric, WW Granger, PPG, Sherwin Williams, SP Global, Stanley Block and Decker, and Target Corp. So I've set up this monthly dividend payment plan to show you how to get your 14 payments a month on free trade. So for the monthly payment one, you need to buy BMO commercial property. Payment two, you need to buy HY corporate bond. Payment three is UK gilts. Payment four is US corporate bond. Payment five is JPM government bond. Here on you're into the quarterly payments. So to get payment six, you could buy GlaxoSmithKline, City of London and Shell. For payment seven, you could buy Cisco, Verizon and BP. For payment eight, you could buy Merck, Procter & Gamble and Chevron. Payment 9, Kimberly Clark, Abvi, Johnson & Johnson. Payment 10, Comcast, AT&T and McDonald's. Payment 11, Asura, Colgate, 3M. Payment 12, FedEx, 
Caterpillar, Exxon Mobil. Payment 13, JPM Morgan, Apple and Walgreens. Payment 14, Lawn Securities, Greencoat UK and Imperial Bronze. From these you can see there is a wide mixture of companies and all their payment dates are on the plan. So you could do your own research and pick your own companies to make up your own monthly payments. There is a selection of UK and American companies in this plan, so this should help to diversify your portfolio. If you are looking to maximise retirement income, stocks that pay monthly dividends can be a great help. Having a steady stream of income throughout the year makes balancing your day-to-day -day budget much easier. However, one of the main benefits of monthly dividends is the opportunity for reinvestment and compounding. Dividend reinvestment is simply the practice of using dividend funds to purchase additional shares of stock. Many trading platforms offer the option of automatically reinvesting your dividends for you. Free Trade currently does not offer this, but please check your platform to see if it does, as this means your investment grows without you even lifting a finger. As the number of shares you own grows, so does your dividend each year, assuming that the company's dividends remain stable. When you retire, you can begin taking your monthly dividends in cash to supplement distributions from your pension. Here are some reasons why investors prefer companies that pay dividends. Earnings quality. It isn't easy for a company to pay and sustain a regular dividend every single quarter for years on end. Companies that pay dividends typically have more durable business models as well as higher quality earnings as more of their net income comes in the form of cold hard cash. Income. Most people buy stocks to make money from capital gains or the rising value of stock prices over time. But dividend paying stocks offer the best of both worlds by offering the potential for capital gains in addition to regular income from dividends. Dividend investors don't have to face the difficult choice of deciding when to sell stocks since their portfolio generates income from dividend payments. Disciplined managers. Companies that promise their owners regular cash payments have less potential to make unforced errors by acquiring competitors at high prices or throwing shareholders cash at projects with questionable returns. Less volatility. Dividend paying stocks tend to be less volatile than stocks that don't pay dividends, meaning the difference between their highs and lows is smaller than the highs and lows of companies that don't pay dividends. Although dividend-paying companies have historically outperformed companies that don't pay dividends, this doesn't mean that you should buy all stocks that pay dividends or buy a stock simply because it pays a higher dividend than another stock. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.